Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 9th of November 2017. Starting off with the pound yesterday, we can see that uh, the market put in a sell signal and uh, prices thereafter moved lower, staying below the 20 bar average and trading down to the 130 and 96 level. Let's just have a look at this in the bigger picture so we can see where we are. We're still range bound, uh, but the market's become into a narrower range now as well. So if we just find the resistance here as well, or the upper part of the new channel, you can see there coming in at uh, 131.74. So watch this level because um, to drive through this is going to require a, a bit more uh, momentum than we've had. We've got the 20 bar average in the way there as well. So just going back, uh, you'll see there you've got the 136, uh, uh, sorry, 96 uh, level there. So you'll see uh, uh, the market uh, resistance uh, uh, at the 131.74 should prices move higher. In the Dow, uh, just as the Dow was about to open, I received uh, another message to say the internet uh, was going off bang on 2.30, so didn't see anything for the first uh, hour or so. And then, of course, by that time, the market had uh, already uh, been down. We had the crude oil inventories out, didn't make much of a difference to the market. The uh, supply was greater than forecast. And uh, then, as ever, the market uh, managed to move its way to the upside and uh, overnight though we've got um, a bit of a sell-off going here don't know the reason behind it uh, but it doesn't matter because as you can see already they're bringing the market back in the pre-market session so obviously something uh, overnight around uh, 5 a.m. has caused the market to uh, sell off but uh, we'll say sell off move down 50 points I think it's probably it used to be a sell-off it's no longer uh, would be considered a sell-off but uh, moved down and has now retraced uh, uh, probably around 50% uh, of the move and in the daily chart you can see that we've got a, a bit of a situation here where the market stuck in a sideways range to uh, consolidation phase no doubt uh, before we see the prices move back to the upside we are in the uh, Santa rally season November the 9th, uh, just over uh, six weeks uh, before we uh, get into the festive nonsense and then uh, see what the new year brings. I think the new year is going to be very, very interesting, but uh, there's no way they're going to ruin the Christmas with uh, the market collapsing at this point or, or selling off because obviously it's going to uh, have a negative impact on their bonuses. So it's uh, business as usual. Keep the market moving to the upside. So even though there's a bit of... Uh, uh, volume down here. I don't think it's distribution. I think it's uh, regurgitating and uh, keeping the market uh, floating to the upside at the moment. News-wise today, well, it's not really enough to move the markets. We've got uh, e, uh, EU economic forecasts there out at uh, 10 a.m. and that's a medium impact news item. Goodness knows what that is. Then you know somebody just uh, writing something down on the back of an envelope. I think for uh, uh, that sort of forecast, medium impact, doesn't even tell you who's going to actually announce it. So uh, nothing major there. And then the unemployment claims uh, to 130. They're the weekly jobless claims from the US there. All right, quick look at uh, the implied volatility. And on the implied volatility front, uh, we're up from 946 to 960. No surprise there really because... Uh, the market is churning at the moment. There are a few things in the background, like the Saudi Arabia and Yemen situation, which again is not being reported by the mainstream, and uh, a few other things uh, while well, following Trump round uh, Asia that uh, might uh, be slightly alarming for the market, just in case he says something or does something that uh, could cause uh, some sort of spontaneous uh, correction in the market. So up slightly. Um, no surprise there, but it's interesting to see that overall we've got uh, uh, a new support here. Uh, you can see there there's a, a sort of a, a new channel uh, building. So it'll be interesting to see if the market can actually uh, break down this way and move back to the downside. But that's all going to depend on uh, obviously the 
underlying market continuing to move to the upside. Right, that will do it uh, for this one. If there's anything to report, I'll let you know. I would expect it to remain quiet. It's a slow news day, uh, so unless there's something uh, of a geopolitical nature, then uh, things were going to remain uh, sideways as uh, usual. Right, that's it uh, for this one. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.